Hi, you guys. It's Lindy. Okay, so I had about 30 minutes today to where I could run into my Goodwill and see what I could find. So I wanted to show you guys everything that I grabbed in only 30 minutes at Goodwill. I always like to try to stop into my Goodwill every single Wednesday because every Wednesday, my Goodwill in particular does 20% off for preferred membership card holders, which I am. Um, so also double check your Goodwill to see if they have any programs like that. Mine in particular, it's like a $5 annual membership fee and it gets me 10% off every day and then 20% off every Wednesday. So check and see if, if you have anything like that. Um, so I spent, ooh, I spent $35. However, I'm calling it 32 for the video because two of the things that I got are not to resell. Um, I picked up a pair of, of toddler Levi's for Benjamin. I paid only, you know, 75 cents minus 20% on that. And I picked up this top for myself because I thought it was cute. So I treated myself today. So without further ado, let me show you what I got to throw up on eBay. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you is this GB men's polo shirt. It's a black polo. And of course, all shirts and all pants are $3.99. And so I paid only everything that was $3.99. I paid only $1.60 for after the 50% off because orange was the color tag this week. Um, I paid only $1.60 uh, after the 50% off and then the 20% off of that. So this is just a plain black polo. However, I picked it up because it is a size 5X. I hardly ever see sizes larger than 3x. So the fact, let me see if this will focus on it. It's ooh, right there. No, maybe. No, it's not going to. It's it's really little. It's really tiny. Um, so the fact that this was a 5x, I snatched it up because I hardly ever see that size. So I figured this polo would be, you know, 15 bucks, 12, 15 dollars with shipping, which would net me about a six dollar profit on it. And then I picked up this denim and supply shirt by Ralph Lauren, and it's a size double XL, and it's just just a fun t-shirt. Um, it has the fist and the skull. Um, again, I paid $1.60 for it after all the discounts, and I figured I could sell it for $12, maybe $10, give or take. And so my net profit would be around $6 on that. And then good old American Eagle Outfitters. An American Eagle polo, it's a size large. It's white and red, and it's the nice, thick material. And it's just a standard polo with the chest logo. It's in really nice shape. I figured that I could sell it for 12 with shipping and net a $6 profit on that. And then that's all for the shirts. I didn't really look at women's tops. Like I said, I only had 30 minutes. So there's only certain areas that I look at when I only have 30 minutes. I hit up the men's jeans, the women's jeans, because y'all know I love jeans. And then I walk through the scrub tops to see how many 50% off scrub tops there are. And then I look at plus size men's shirts. And then if I have time, then I hit the women's tops. So here's from the scrub aisle. This was the only one that was 50% off. Whoop. It's a long sleeve. It's a long sleeve scrub top and it's a button front. And it just has these little hearts on it. They say spirit and free and healing. So it's a fun pattern. And just like everything else, the scrub tops were $3.99. So I paid $1.60 for it after uh, the 50% off and then the 20% discount on top of that. And so I figured um, about a $6, $7 
what did I say? Six dollars. I wrote everything down so I could tell you guys. I always forget to tell you guys my expected profits, so I'm trying to get better about that. That's been one of my New Year's resolutions for YouTube is to actually like get my crap together when I tell you guys this stuff. So um, usually long sleeve scrub tops I sell for $12 with shipping, so I'll probably net around a $6 profit on that. And then I checked out the dresses, and I did check out the dresses today. I just kind of like walked up um, just to see if any patterns caught my eye. And a couple of patterns did catch my eye, but the funny thing is they're not even dresses. They're rompers. Um, but, you know, rompers, I love them. So this one is a brand I've never heard of. I'm sure that somebody's heard of it. I think it's just like a store brand of some kind. It's stilettos. Is it going to focus? Stilettos. Eh, it might. Sometimes it focuses for me. Sometimes it doesn't. Sorry, guys. It's just a size large. And it's just a cute little romper. Isn't that adorable? And for those of you that don't know what a romper is, it's just a one piece. It kind of looks like a dress, but it's not a dress. It shorts. So it shorts. It's not a dress. So just really cute. And it was priced with all of the dresses. So all of the dresses are priced $5.99. And so I paid $3 and then minus the 20% would make it $2.40 for that. And I would expect to sell that for at least $15 with shipping, which would net me a $7 profit, if not more. I, I'm guessing low. I always guess low on profits for you guys because I don't want to shoot too high and then sell it later for less than I expected and take a smaller profit. I want to be realistic with you guys. I'll probably button these up later. Okay. And then here was another romper. I thought this one was adorable. It caught my eye because it has a lace back. This is the back side. And this is the front. And I thought it was adorable. And it's Rue 21, which, you know, Rue 21 is not a fantastic brand, but it's popular enough. And it's a size extra large. So an extra large is a really good size for things like rompers and dresses. So I picked it up and it's also a romper. So it has the shorts and paid the same $240 after the discounts. And so if I can sell it for 15 bucks, it should net around a $7 profit. And then that was it for that. That was it for that. Um, I did get about eight pairs of jeans. Focus. There we go. Um, let's see here. Of course, you're not going to be able to see this one very well. It's it's coming off, but it's Style and Company. It's Style and Company. I bought it for the size. It's a size 20W, which is a really great plus size. And the jeans are in really, really nice shape. There's no rips. There's no tears. There's no, there's no rubbing on the legging on the legs. Um, there's no holes. They're in really, really nice shape and they're just straight leg. Um, and so I figured that all of these jeans, I'll just tell you all the jeans that I got, I would expect to sell for an average of $18 a pair. Um, and all of the jeans that I got today were $3.99. And then after the 50% off and the 20% off, I paid $1.60 for each pair. So on average, I would probably get 50, or I'm sorry, $18 per pair for each pair of jeans, which would be at least a $6 average net profit per pair of jeans. So I picked up these Style & Company size 20 W's. And then I picked up, I usually don't pick up stuff like baby fat or apple bottoms, but I went ahead and got these because the price was so good. Baby fat. And I really, really liked the sandblasting on them. They're the nice dark wash denim, but then they also have the sandblasted. You see all that? It's like, a, it's like the brown, it's like the brown sandblasting. I love it. And I really liked the, um, the pockets. 
and the belt loops. So I thought that the style of the jean, see, I love this, and the sandblasting, all of that, and their nice boot cut, I figured that those alone would sell the jean no matter what the brand is. So, and the reason why I don't usually buy baby fat and apple bottoms is because when I have bought them, I didn't, I like barely broke even on them. So I just kind of stay away from them. I don't know if the style is going out or if the brands themselves are just not very popular anymore or what. So, and then I picked up these BKE denim jeans. The tag is old. You might not be able to see it. Let me see if you can see the back one. BKE denim. And these are size 27 by 31 and a half. They are women's. So they're a 27 inch waist. And they're just a really nice flared boot cut jean. And they're not really distressed, but they do have some nice sandblasted fading on them. Um, it's not really the brown sandblasting, but it's sandblasted. So that's a really popular style. So figured at least $18, which would be a $6 net. And then good old Levi's. I really like these. They're the super low boot cut Levi's and they're 515s and they do have the button back pockets and they're a lighter wash and they're not really too distressed but there is there was obviously a rip here and it was self stitched up um, so I'm probably not going to be able to get as much for these, but a lot of people like the distressed look, um, in women's jeans, it's hit or miss. So this is probably something that I will put up for auction and see what happens. Um, it's a size 15, which is a really decent junior size. And so I picked them up anyway, because I always pick up Levi's, especially when there's something special about them. Like if they're the super low boot, there's button pockets. Um, because they're not standard. So you never know. So these, I would probably think that I would get maybe a $4 profit on just because of the stitching on them. Um, but we'll have to see, we'll see what happens. You never know. I get surprised all the time. Okay. And then here's another pair of Levi's. And these are also women's and they are a size. Whoop, sorry. I'm trying to zip these up so I can show you. These are relaxed boot cut 550s and they are a size 16 short. Why does this not want to focus? You want to focus? Maybe. Yeah. Sorry guys. I tried. They're the relaxed boot and they are a size 16 short, which is a really, really great size. And these are like a genuine blue jean. You see how blue it is? And there's no rips, no stains. They're in really great shape. So I would hope to get at least 16 to 18, which would net me about a 5 or a $6 profit. And then I picked up American Eagle. Ah, American Eagle jeans. And these are the true boot. So apparently they're not a fake boot. They're a true boot. True boot. And they're a size eight, which is, you know, I would, I like to get bigger, but eight's fine. Um, they're a nice dark wash denim and you could tell they're really, really broken in. The denim is really, really soft. So I would hope to get an $18 gross out of that, which would be about a $6 net, six or $7 net. And then I have never bought these before. So we're going to see. I checked the sold comps and they weren't bad. They are Sean John jeans and they are men's. They're a size, they're a size 30. Um, I looked up the sold comps and the sold comps on them were, you know, around 20 bucks. So I figured, sure, why not? And oh, there's like all of this 
hem work on the jeans. So they're unique for sure. And they say Sean John on them. So the hem work is pretty cool. I think it's neat. And then here's the back. Like the back pockets are a little different. Um, I've never seen them to buy before. So um, we're about to find out. So I'm hoping to get 18 to 20 out of those, which would be, you know, six, seven, eight dollar net profit. And then there's one more pair of jeans. These are men's hype. And ne I've never heard of the brand, but I got them because, well, the size isn't too great. It's a 28 by 30. The size isn't too great, but I got them because they're skinny. Um, men's skinny jeans have been selling really, really fast for me. It almost doesn't even matter what the brand is. Skinny jeans are totally in. And I've been, the skinny jeans for the smaller waisted men's pants have been selling really well for me. And they're also a black wash. So I went ahead and picked them up because I mean, for $1.60, how can you go wrong, right? So I would hope 18 buck gross out of those, which would be about a six or a $7 net profit. And that's all for the jeans. All that's left now is shorts. I bought some men's cargo shorts. I have four pairs of them. Um, four pairs of men's cargo shorts that I'm probably going to list in the next couple of months just getting ready for spring. Um, and all of the shorts for $3.49, so they're a little cheaper than the jeans. So let's see, what did I pay then? It would have been $1.75 with the normal discount. 30, so I paid around $1.45, $1.40 for each pair of these, give or take. Um, picked up these, they're Air Apostles. And they're a size 30 waist, which the brand is not fantastic, but khaki cargo shorts are khaki cargo shorts. They're super popular. Um, so I would hope that all of these cargo shorts would be between uh, 13 and $15 gross sale, which would net me only about a $4 profit. And the reason why it's going to net me less is because these cargo shorts are thick and the pockets are a lot of extra fabric. So even though I weighed this one in particular, just so I can make sure, even though they're shorts, there's so much fabric, they still weigh over a pound. So they are still going to have to go priority, which means my net profit is going to go down. But the price is going to be fair enough to where they should not sit around for very long. And I really, really liked these. These are Abercrombie & Fitch. And they are a size... 32. Huh, so it says right there, big, 32. They're 32. But they are red and they've got, I'm trying to see if you guys can see, it's almost like a camo print. Can you see it? It's, it's very faint in the camera. You could see it better in person. But they are just, they're nice shorts. They're nice shorts. And there's a drawstring. So I would hope to get $15 out of those, which would get me more of a $5 net profit. And then these are Gap. Let's see, what size are they? What size are you? What size are you? Ah, the size tag was cut off. So I'm going to have to measure these to find out what the waist is. But I imagine that they're a 32. I would imagine they're a 32. Um, but it's Gap. And they're just an olive green kind of khaki cargo short. And so that's probably a $4 net profit. And then the last one, it's just Arizona. It's, you know, not a fantastic brand, but they're the khaki cargo shorts. And so even if they sell for, you know, 12 bucks. These are lighter. I'm going to weigh these right here. I'm going to weigh them right here. 
even if I sell these for 12 bucks, it's still a $4 profit. Let's see. I want to see if these are going to go priority or first class because these feel a lot lighter. Oh, 15.3 ounces. I'm going to do this one more time. We're doing this on the spot. These might go first class. They're between 15.1 and 15.3 ounces, and the poly only adds like 0.3.2. I think these could go first class, which would up my profits to like six or seven dollars. So these are a lot more thin. Sweet. All right, you guys. So that's everything that I got at Goodwill today. I had 30 minutes and I ran in. I spent about $32 and I'm going to net somewhere between $100 and $105. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah. So that's the whole haul. <laughs> that's all of it. That's what you could do in 30 minutes. So just if you only have a short amount of time to go sourcing, you know, just think about the things that you like to sell the most and just hit those places. You know, like I said, I only had 30 minutes, so I ran in. I look at the jeans first for men's, and then I look at women's, and then I go and I look at the men's plus size shirts, and then I look at like scrub tops, and then I'll run by the plus sizes. It's always plus sizes, it's always what I look at first. So, all right, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up and let me know. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, I hope that you will. If you have any questions or comments, you can feel free to leave them in the comments below or you can email me. My email is in the video description. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you with my next video. Bye.